Welcome to Engineering Drawing Course. Today we are going to solve the problem in development of code. Right? So I will read the problem. A yeah, right circular cone of base diameter 60 mm and height 70 mm is resting on its base on the ground. It is cut by a section plane perpendicular to VB and inclined at 30 degree to the HP. The cutting plane bisect the axis of the cone. Draw the development of the lateral surface of the truncated cone. It is directly given as it is a truncated cone because it cuts the some certain angle with the HP. So, uh, we will ask some questions before we start this problem. So, what is the object here? It is given as right circular cone. So, right circular cone. What is the base diameter? It is given as 60 mm and the height is given as 70 mm. This is the dimensions of the cone. And what may be the position, resting position? It is resting on its base on the ground. So in this particular first sentence, we can understand the orientation of the cone. It is resting on H. In second sentence, it is given that the Section plane is 30 degree to HP. Section plane is 30 degree to HP. And the cutting plane bisects the axis. This is the another two uh, parameters we will consider. The angle is 30 degree to HP. And the bisect means we know that it is the midpoint. So total height is 70 means the midpoint is 35. That is the meaning of bisect. So here we want to draw the development of lateral surface is nothing but surrounding surface of the truncated cone. This is the question. So now for the cone already we know that we, we are following two methods in general for this development. One is parallel line development, another one is radial line development. In case of pyramid and cone we are using radial line method. So I am writing here the method is radial line method it can be used for both pyramid and prism it can be used for uh, sorry cone as well as pyramid problem another one method is the already we discussed in previous classes that is parallel line method used for prism and cylinders. So now I will explain how we are going to solve this problem by using the demonstrations. So now we can see here this is the HP VP plane right. Now this is your code. This is your code right. Now what is given here you want to draw the first uh, development for which first you consider it is resting on ground. Ground is nothing but it is resting on HB. For which first we want to draw the top view. It gives the true safe. So first draw the top view on the HB. Then your front view will look like triangle. It should be projected on the VB. Then we will draw the full development. Third step is full development of the truncated uh, pyramid. Then you fourth introduce the section plane and the uh, development of the cut solids for which so I want to uh, give some idea for your understanding so this is actually the cone full development for making this cone uh, we need one surface that is the development of surface so for which I am going to open this particular cone right in this uh, the joining area I want to open up then you can get some idea so here first the bottom base base of this cone is we can open like this right we can open like this then then we can cut the joint surface where it is joined it is joined here right it is joined here so i want to cut here right i want to cut the you will get the required development you will get the required development of this particular solid, full solid. So, this is for your explanation purpose. 
I am opening here this particular code. Now you get this is my open surface. This is my open surface of this particular code. Right? Right? Please try to understand. This is the bottom base of the pyramid. So this is the bottom base. This is the lateral surface of the pyramid. So if you, uh, I want only lateral surface means I will further cut this portion. I will cut the base portion also. You have to remove only. This is the full development of my core. This is my full development of my my core. So it looks like some sector. That's why we are going to draw this sector, right? This is. It is the full development of the uh, cone, right? If we want to <coughs> make this cone, what we, we want to join this place, and by using come we can paste here. Then bottom portion you can place like this. Then you get this particular cone. This is the demonstration you can understand. So in order to make any solid, you need some surface. This surface is we call as development of surface. This is for the full core. So for this purpose, I am going to explain how we are going to get this surface for our problem, right? So now we move to here. Uh, similar to the previous problem, what is the first step here? You draw one x y reference line. You need to draw. X Y reference line and mark as X comma Y. Above X Y, we call this vertical plane. Below X Y, I call this horizontal plane. I will mark like this. Then I am going to, <coughs> I am going to uh, draw the top view of the cone. Top view of the cone, we know that it may be seen as the circle. So I will draw one circle for the diameter is given as 60. So you can take the radius as 30 mm. Then you need to draw the circle. You need to draw the circle for the radius 30 mm. Then you can get the diameter as 60. So this is the way first you draw the circle. Now I want to divide the circle into 8 divisions for which First, I draw one vertical line for where line. And this is the point, my point O, right? Then you draw one horizontal line through this O. 45 degree inclined line. One 45 degree inclined line. Then another 45 degree inclined line through. So, this is the way. We need to divide this circle into 8 parts. Now I want to give the name. This center point I marked as O. The left point as A. This is going to be B, C, D, E, F, G and H. So I divided this circle into 8 components. Now I want to draw the corresponding friend view. So far which from O. First, I am going to draw one project line. On this line, I will extend the axis line. I am supposed to draw the axis line in that extension. What may be the height? It is given 70 mm. For the 70 mm, I will mark here one point. That point is called as O dash. This is the apex point of the code or vertex point. Now I need to draw the corresponding projection from all other points, remaining points, whatever we divide in this top view, we need to draw to the XY line. Then I am going to extend this. We can get final. Now I will join O dash with this bottom point. Like this. Then this point. So this gives my Triangle. Triangle is nothing but the front view of your cone. Also, we find here some other generator also. That line also you need to join by lighter lines. All these lines should be lighter. All these lines should be lighter. Now, I want to keep the name here. 
coevolving from this direction this is going to be a dash and b dash this point and another one point is the h dash coming to here we have c dash and g dash here you have t dash as well as f dash i marked in bracket and final point is e dash so i marked the top uh, front view points for this particular uh, division points right? so we have connected now i got the front view right you clear now before we applying this section i want to draw the full development of this cone right for which i will take this length here o as e as or o as a as this is nothing but true slant length this is i am going to mark it as what true slant length right that true slant length you can take or you can measure this is i call this l you can measure now from the scale right we know that that value will come as 76 mm approximately this value will come as how much 76 for this particular problem now we are going to use one formula for calculating the included angle or subtended angle theta equal to r by l in the 360 here the radius is 30 by 76 in the 360 we can get 140 degree this is the included angle for which we are going to draw the sector for this particular so now i am going to take one point here any one point then take this measurement whatever may be this measurement i am going to take here i will there is this point because y point is not this i will shorten this y point right now i will take this point and draw one vertical line and using this 140 degree i will draw another in line line another in line now this angle is 142 degree approximately exactly right now i will mark these two points now i am going to by using this uh, compass i need to join these points you get this or like this you will get some sector you can get some sector like like section now we will get some sector so this is the way you draw the sector i am going to give this point as o this is my point a again this is the point a now a and a is joined you get this full development now i am going to divide this eight points already we marked so for which you take the measurement by the compass or divider ab from which now i am going to mark similarly this one eight divisions i am going to divide 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 divisions so i am going to give the name b c d e f g and h this is my point right c and h now i want to join these points by lighter lines i want to join all these points by lighter lines by using 2h pencil i want to join these points by 2h pencil so Uh, this is going to be the full development of the cone without cut so up to this you will get 12 marks right out of 20 so first draw the top view then front view corresponding full development of the solid right we complete by using this angle 142 right now i am going to introduce the important thing section plane so here it is given 30 degree to hb and biceps so this height is actually 70 mm so i want to mark 
the pi section means 35 that is the midpoint this is going to be my midpoint for this particular cone so now I want to draw one 30 degree inclined line through this midpoint through this midpoint I want to draw and I will extend like this this is going to be my section plane I want to mark here to arrow get and write here SB is section plane now the top portion is removed only bottom portion is available here cone only extreme generated only you need to remaining portion will be darkened top portion is removed only bottom portion especially the extreme line only we need to talk not the interior line. So section plane base line should be darker. Interior lines no need to mark. Now I am going to give the points. Here I have one point. I will call this one dash. Here I have two cutting points. I will call this two dash. Another point I will mark as eight dash. And center point I have two points that is 3 dash and 7 dash. In this point I have 4 dash and 6 dash. This point is 5 dash. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Again back side 6, 7, 8. 8 cutting points I marked in the cutting edges. Now <coughs> these points, right, these points is to be transferred to this true slant length. Because we taken the extreme line O as E dash. So I want to draw this horizontal line from here. That is the first point. Then second horizontal line. Because we used the true slant length for constructing this arc. So that's why we need to draw like this. Like this. The extension point is we need to mark and measure. So this is corresponding to 1 dash, this is corresponding to 2 dash, this is corresponding to 3 dash, 4 dash, 5 dash and 6 dash, 7 dash and 8 dash. So all these points I need to draw horizontal line because we drawn this sector in the true span length. That's why we draw horizontal lines from all the cutting points. Now we need to measure first O dash 1 dash point. Now I am going to measure this O dash 1 dash point. That is to be drawn marked in OA. For example, I will mark. This is my point number 1. Then you measure this O dash 2 dash. Then you can mark in OB line. This is going to be my point number 2. Then O dash 3 dash. You should mark in OC. You will get the third point. Then O dash 4 dash points you mark in OD. Right? This is 4. And O dash 5 dash point you mark it in OE. You will mark 5. Similarly 6 will be marked in OF. And the 7 will be marked in OG. And 8 will be marked in OH. And one will be again marked in the A. This is the point number one. So all these points you need to mark by compass. Now I am going to join these points by smooth curve. I am going to connect these points by smooth curve. Because it is a curved surface. We need to join by curve only. Don't use the straight line. Here we are going to use only curve. These are the cutting points we need to join. Right? These cutting points we need to join by thick line, HGB points. The above these lines are removed. Remaining bottom portion is available. So I need to mark this line and this because it is available with the solid and this bottom the sector that portion also we need to draw as the arc by this thick HP pencil HP line right we need to draw 
like this this sector so this is the completion of this full development of this solid with this cut surface don't need to uh, draw these lines right so this is the actually the development of this particular now you can looks like this development is almost similar to this sector right okay then we draw the corresponding cutting points so quick reference or quick review first step you need to draw this top view of this particular cone a circle second you draw this front view third you draw this full development again you come into mark here draw this section plane this is the fourth one and the fifth one is you need to draw this the cutting points what are the cutting points marked in this to be projected here then you get the full development of this particular solid thank you thanks for watching this video